welcome 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 back to my channel today i will show you how to make a delicious rainbow trout very very simple to make all right and if you're not familiar with rainbow trout fish this is what it looks like on the other side it is delicious i was first introduced to this fish in culinary school and every time i could find it at my local Publix, i grab it so I did wash it and clean it off with fresh lime, of course, and we remove um, the scales. All right, so our fish is nice and clean. So to our fish, I'm gonna add some black pepper, some fresh black pepper all over the fish like this. And you know what, just before I go any further, I, want, I like to make slits because I'm gonna fry it skin down first and we don't want it to fold on us. So we just lightly put little slices in it like this. This will prevent it from uh, curling up, okay? Put some in the middle and then maybe one light slices. Do not go all the way through, okay? Just make sure your knife is sharp. There we go. And let me do one down here, just like that. All right, so once you get your slits in, or your slices in, we have our pepper on. So we're gonna go ahead and lightly, we're gonna season it with salt. You don't need to do too much to this. Trust me on this one. Salt and pepper is what we're gonna do today. Just make sure you have every part has a little salt because you do not want a bland part of the fish. And I just like to rub it like this just to make sure the salt and pepper is everywhere, okay? You do not want to over season this fish. There's no need to. We're going to turn them over and we're going to do the same thing. I don't want to bore you, so I'm going to go ahead and just do one. Put some black pepper like that. Then we get some salt like that. And we're going to rub it in. And we're going to allow this to marinate for, I would say, no more than about oh, maybe 15 minutes. I'm just doing it for 15, but you could do it a little longer. But it's a thin fish, see how thin it is? So it's gonna be tasty. All right, our fish is seasoned nicely with salt and pepper. If you want, you can add other seasoning, but that's perfect where it's at. So I do have some all-purpose flour in here. Now to my flour, I'm gonna add some roasted garlic. We're gonna add some onion powder, just a little bit. And I'm gonna also add a pinch or two of salt. And a little bit of black pepper. And we're gonna give it a mix. Okay. Or you could just keep your flour plain because in school we did it with plain flour and it was delicious. But I just add the garlic and the onion just to jazz it up just a little bit but it's fabulous with just salt and pepper guys all right so it's nice and mixed all right so now we're going to go ahead and take our fish and we're just gonna put it in the flour the seasoned flour like this and you don't want to overdo it. Just lightly coat it, removing all of the extra flour. Okay, 
I'm gonna put it right back on here. And we're gonna go ahead and get the other pieces covered with the flour. All right, our fish is ready to be pan fried. I'm gonna allow our oil to get hot and then I'll come back. All right, our oil should be nice and hot. Okay, this is good. We got the sizzle. I add my last fish in. As you can see, they did not curl up because we put the slits in it. But if you forget to put your slit in it, just go ahead and press this down for a few minutes and that's gonna prevent it from curling up, okay? So we're gonna allow it to cook for a few minutes on each side. Okay, once it gets nice and golden brown, we're gonna flip it and allow it to cook and then I'm gonna come back and make this fabulous sauce to pour on top of it. All right, this one should be ready because it's the first one we put in. And I forgot to mention, um, I started off on high, but then I put my stove on a number six because you do not want it to start to burn before. Do you see that? See how beautiful our fish is? So you don't want your fish to start to burn before it's even cooked. So I turned down the temperature of my stove. And it's looking fabulous. It smells delicious. Okay, this one could have went a little bit longer, but that's fine. So we're going to allow these to brown up and cook. And I'll come back and show you how we make our stuff. All right. I flipped it just one more time because we want the um, skin to be crispy. And our fish is about done. I'm going to go ahead and take them out. All right, I just want to show you our fish. The skin is nice and crispy. This is exactly how you want it. All right, here's our final product. Our rainbow trout fish is looking fabulous, guys. It is tasty, very, very delicious. Must try recipe. Until next time, please like comment and do not forget to subscribe. Delicious.